In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to share some tips on using a tool called the Library Preview Window. This is available in copies of PowerDirector Ultimate or 365. But many of you may have this tool and not even know that it's there because it's not activated by default. We'd like to show you some things that you can do with it. I have in my media room two clips. I have an ocean scene and then I have a mountain scene. What I'd like to do is show you some of the things you can do with the library preview window. So to get to that tool we simply click on the view menu at the very top above the media room and then turn on the third option down library preview window. Immediately what that does is it creates a third panel between the preview screen and the media room and it puts one of your clips there. Now you can change the clip that you're working on simply by clicking on it in the media room and that will change which one you're working on with the library preview window. One thing I like about this tool is that, like others, it's dockable. So in this case I'm going to click on the rectangle with the arrow pointing to the upper right and I'm going to undock this particular panel and you can make it any size or shape that you like when you're working on it in CyberLink PowerDirector. There are several tools that we have here that we have elsewhere. I'd like to explain them in this particular window. It's basically used if you want to change the duration of the clip inside the media room and then put it on the timeline. So we have our normal controls. We have a play control and a stop control. We can move forward or backward by frame, and here you have the time indicator. We can take a snapshot of that particular clip only and turn that into a gra graphic image. We can also set the preview quality if we want to. We can turn the sound on or off. We can go 3D or 2D, and we can fill the screen. But the tools I think you'll use most if you use the library preview window are the five in the top row to the left of the time code. I would often use this if I want to change the duration of my clip. Now all I have to do is move my indicator anywhere I want and I can go frame by frame if I want to or play and stop and then I can choose the mark in. Now that will give me a copy of this that's slightly shorter at the beginning and likewise I can do the same at the end. I can select any place I want or I can simply take the uh, end marker and move it itself and I can say maybe here is where I want the end of it to go and I'll click on the mark out option. Now I have a subset of the original clip with a slightly shorter duration. Another nice feature that I can do right here in this window is I can set some clip markers. Again, all I need to do is pick the location where I want the slider to be and click on the clip marker. I can say maybe change music here and click on OK. I could add another one over here, for example, and I could say click on the clip marker and say add title. And likewise, I can right click on the marker and I can remove only that marker or all clip markers or I can edit them. So we have other tutorials on clip markers, but it's one of the nice features you have here. Now let's assume I have this of a slightly different duration. I put my clip markers in and I want to use it in my project. That's what these other two icons are for below the, the viewing screen. The third one tells me to insert it on the selected track. Now I can pit, highlight whatever track I want to. Here I'll, I'll do track number two and just click on insert and it dropped it in on track two wherever my marker was. I'm do, going to do control Z to undo that. Let's see what happens when we do that on the other track. Let's, let's give ourselves a bit more room so you can see better. Highlight track number one and I'll click on the insert button. And you notice in this case, it actually split my original clip and inserted it directly. I'll do Control Z to undo that. The other option is simply to overwrite the selected track. If I click on that one, 
it actually ends the first clip where my marker was and overwrites it with the shorter version again of my clip. You notice this is a duration of 23 seconds and 15 frames. I'll do Control Z to undo that. When you're done, you can redock it or you can close it and you're finished. But notice if I take this and drag it down and look at my duration, it's 29 seconds and 14 frames. I haven't actually modified this one. Now the interesting thing you can also do, let's put our marker over here, is I can go back to that same tool by choosing View, Library Preview, and it remembers where I was before. So now I still have my shorter clip with my timeline markers included. So let's go ahead and drop that on the track. We'll use an overwrite here. And then if I want to see my clip markers, I can right click and say, show clip marker track. And I see indeed they are in where they were supposed to be, where I put them in my modified copy of my original video clip. So there are all kinds of neat things you can do for fast and quick editing with a video clip by simply using this tool the library preview window in CyberLink PowerDirector.